Nation. Let's see what kind of audio quality and bugs and shit we're going to get today. <laughs> this is Splatterhead. <laughs> Groby. And uh, Fitz is going to call in. We'll see if we can make that work. Yeah, Fitz is fucking uh, being a penny in Point Pleasant yeah, fucking this week. He's in Point Pleasant yeah. down the shore. Yeah, har- harassing the locals. Yep. <laughs> is he is he uh, wearing flips with socks? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> He's no. definitely wearing flips. He was wearing them in the pool. Yeah, the other day. yeah, no, yeah, I saw yeah, the pool. He thing. wears flip flops in a pool. Yeah, <laughs> there's nasty shit in the pool. You might as well. Yeah. I don't know. So uh, we're here, Grobyville. I saw our buddy Mike from Milk Street this morning. Okay. He was picking up a breakfast sandwich. And it's pretty good. Yeah. What are we drinking? Pots. <laughs> Pots brought us something special. Yeah. He... Cans right over there. It's a. Uh, uh, it's a new, the new can release from Zigmeister. It's their Deep Sea series. It's the Milkshake New England IPA. It's called Galactic 7. It's pretty goddamn tasty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking good... Uh, fucking almost looks like a mimosa. Yeah. <laughs> it is... Hold on a second. It's it kind of looks like that Skittles beer, Bolero yeah. Snort. Yeah. Okay, yeah, almost. But it, but it tastes much better. Yeah, it's wanna, fucking good, man. You, you guys want to know what's in it? We uh, got... Hops, we, we yeast, have a, water, yeah. barley, <laughs> and uh, and then the other stuff it contains guava, guava, all right, mango, hey. mango. I taste that I passion taste, fruit. I taste all that. I taste the, the mango and the passion fruit. Passion yes. fruit, vanilla, <coughs> and our very own. If you have a milkshake, it's uh, the normal lactose. I'm not picking up any vanilla. No, I'm not either. He must have used very little. Yeah, but I'm glad. I don't like vanilla in my mm, beer. Nah. Not unless it maybe a stout. I got I still got three cans out of a six pack I bought like two weeks ago. Of I don't some like beer vanilla. with vanilla in it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a stout, nice cream stout. Sure, it's got yeah, some stout. In it. sure. Yeah, the stout I'll go with. But you know, a, a IPA, vanilla, I, IPAs with vanilla taste. Does, yeah. does vanillas uh, go hand in hand with like porters and stouts? Yeah, yeah. porters, right? stouts. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. But, but this, it's a really good this one, is man. Fucking good, man. Mm-hmm. Good job, Sigmeister. Yeah. Hey, Mackie, what are you thinking of beer? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah he's walking away. Yeah. He don't drink beer, Tom. No. He's a gin and tonic. Did, doesn't Bill Mackey drink beer, though? Yeah, yeah Bill Mackey, <laughs> Bill Mackey drinks, drinks beer. He, he has a special container for his beer. Yeah, well, what is that about? I don't know. Mm-hmm. He's Bill Mackey. He's Bill Mackey. Yeah. He gets a container. It's so he can drink <laughs> beer in the gym. Yeah. So I, I told Matt, the owner of Zigmeister, that uh, we're reviewing it today. Okay. And then... He remembered me. He goes, we got to set something up in August. Yeah. So, well, we, already Matt, got, we already got one nailed down in August. Well, Matt, this is a pretty good freaking beer. And um, uh, as soon as we set something up, uh, I'll probably be having one there. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. good stuff. This this is a damn good beer. Yes. They also have the orange cream. Uh, I but don't know. On, on nitro, though. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. A nitro. They're, they're, I had it from the tap yesterday. Ch- tried crazy. an orange cream. I tried an orange cream sickle. Yeah. From Bolero Snort. Yeah, but I know somebody who tried an orange cream zig, and they were just like, eh, the, I don't the, know. the nitro. It was from the yeah. tap. It was really good though. Yeah. I mean, okay. although you know, well, that's what I was thinking. On ta- on with nitro, it it probably tastes good. Yeah. And, you know, but it was also a thousand degrees yesterday too, so yeah. it tasted great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll reserve judgment till I try one. Yeah, we haven't yep, tried yeah. it. I mean, his list, you've seen this mm-hmm. board there. It's like you, you get a, yeah. ADHD because you don't know which one to choose. I'm, I can't I can't judge based on what somebody else no, thinks about No, me it. either. No. I mean, you saw that recipe yeah. Laura found the other yeah. day. Somebody, not only did they... Yeah, I just based it on, uh, you know... It looked like you, shit. You, you, <laughs> you talking about the Bolero Snort orange right. cream one and somebody saying the orange cream from Ziggs. I just based it on that, but I will reserve judgment. So I sure. Because, yeah, I haven't yeah. tried it yet. You know, I like Zig. They make good beers. Yeah, they do. I've never had a bad one there yet. I mm. haven't been there, so yeah. I'm excited to go. Yeah, yeah. we've even been to Jersey Girl, and now we got that lined up. Is it lined up? Yep, I called today. I called today, but it's actually on his calendar for August 17th. Okay, okay. and then we're setting up. We should set up Zig for August 17th too. <laughs> we should. Well, 
Kevin's not going to be here. Oh. He's going to miss... He wants to go to Zig. Okay. Yeah. Where's he going to be? Remember, he said he, he said he has a wedding that day, but don't worry about me, he said. Oh. Yeah. He said okay. it in the group text, but we get like a thousand. Yeah, it's texts. this fucking ding, ding, I, ding. I went to sleep last night. I, wo- I woke up. It was 32 messages in the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew what was wrong with my phone. What happened? I had... I, my data was only applied to Wi-Fi. Oh, so, okay. And so... Because Chuck has an iPhone, all my stuff still went to him. But because you and Fitz don't, yeah. it wouldn't deliver them. So then I switched everything over. I put the where it's supposed to be back to data. Yeah. And now I get everything. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> that, that had to be freaking you out, man. Be like, yeah. what the fuck's going on? I'm I'm like, like, technology. Man. Yeah, I'm like, I, I don't even know how it fucking got switched. Yeah. Because all day long we were like, and all of a sudden, what the fuck? This ain't working. <laughs> Do you ever have that shit where, where your phone all of a sudden goes voiceover on? Yeah, and that fucks me yeah. up, man. When I when I didn't know how to turn it off either, I, yeah. was, I was ready to throw the fucking phone yeah. out the out the door, yeah. drive over it. Yeah. I'm fucking yelling, "Fuck you, Siri!" Fuck. <laughs> I had no idea what was going but, on. Uh, like I said, but the guy from Jersey Girl, uh, Chuck, the owner, uh, he he's excited to to do the show. Cool. All I mean, right, he's cool. like he loves podcasts and he especially loves them when they're uncensored. All yeah. right. And uh he he's like, Well, I'm a talker, so I like to talk a lot. I go, Well, this is what it's about. We'll talk. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do. We talk. We talk and yeah. drink. And we talk I, and we drink. I go like this to him, I go, Oh, we, you know, it's beer, booze, and food. You know, we love to talk. He goes, Oh, we'll set you up in the corner, we'll talk, we'll have some food. I was <laughs> <Nice>. like, food <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sweet. Jersey girl, we're in, he, man. He, yeah. he goes he goes, he had he had me at hello. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna have a nice charcuterie, Cuter- yeah, he's a charcuterie, a, plate. a charcuterie platter for and, us. And I told him where to find us with our stuff so he can listen to our back show. Oh well, he's not gonna want us there. Then. Yeah, he's gonna be like, "Fuck these guys." These guys are out of their yeah, fucking minds. And he, he knows Mike from uh, Milk Street. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. He has a bottle of his uh, wooden leg rum on his desk. Nice. So. Okay. We have to. Uh, yeah, we gotta get to. Uh, Man skirt too. Yeah, yeah, uh, they're cool too. That now he has a patio outside. Yeah, he has a little beer garden outside in between the two buildings. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, me. yeah. But it was like you went. We went to Zig yesterday, and it was so hot because they don't have air conditioning. No, anymore. they just they open the garage the f- doors and they got the fans. <laughs> and then we just took a small walk. We took a walk over to Man skirt, and he was like fully air conditioned. And they were like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh my god, yeah, yeah." Man, yeah, man skirt has the good air conditioning because because it's a bank. It was a bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I sampled. He, he, I didn't really drink there. Joe, Joe wasn't there for me to talk to him to set something up, but uh, they have a. It's called like Uncle Joe's. It's like a sour. Yeah. It's a Burliner. Oh man, it was good. Burliner Vice beer. Cool. Oh, it was good. So shit, nice. this is good, man. This is a very good freaking like beer this. by Zigma. This yeah. is fucking yeah. good, man. Yeah, kudos, Zig, man. This is fucking pretty good, man. I, see, I like this. You shit. see, back when I like yeah. fucking swore off IPAs, yeah, man, because I fucking hate skinny jeans and fucking guys that dress <laughs> like lumberjacks and shit that don't know which end of the fucking chainsaw to operate, <laughs> and I associated fucking IPAs with, with those that? knuckleheads, yeah. man, but. If somebody would have handed me this, I'm like, this is not a fucking IPA. IPA? No. Exactly. Well, we talked about it a while ago. Remember we talked about how IPAs, well, you had to make IPAs so bitter and so, uh, like, when you're drinking it, it was, like, crunchy. Right, because you, know? you wanted to feel like a lumberjack, yeah, yeah. so it matched yeah, your, yeah, it, your fucking attire. But, but, that, yeah, but that whole IPA thing is not like that anymore. It's still an IP considered an IPA the way it's made, but right. now they calm it down with, like, the lactose or... Milk sugars do they use too, yeah, or yeah. something, or whatever? Mango. Well, that's, Mango's well, 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 that's good. If it's like you know, but this how, is how, how long can everybody go drinking the bitterest beer? No, it's yeah, and, it's, and, yeah. and okay, um, you made this beer with seven hops, and we're gonna do one with nine, and uh, yeah. we're just gonna keep out bittering each other. We'll, we'll circle back to the sour that yeah. all of us hate, the fucking sequench. Yeah, yeah. Like I can't drink that. No. Nah. Yeah. I that mean, was fucking rough to there's get. There's very through, rare man. that I t- I set a beer down and it's still there's beer in there and yeah. say I fuck it. I'm Actually, it's kind of rare that. Oh, the I dog, drank it. That it was dog, awful. That dogfish head makes a clunker. Yeah. Yeah, that too. That that's rare in itself. Right I don't there. think it was a clunker. It was very popular. Oh, it was. Yeah. Maybe people in that area loved it. Yeah. You know, in the I, Delaware area. Or I think that people people liked it, man. In general. Yeah. yeah. I just it didn't. For Fitz me, like, Fitz likes it. 
Does he? Does yeah. Fitz like it? Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, that's yeah. A, now, that's a rarity, too, because he likes... He's very particular. No, nah, he... So. Nah, he Sent a picture in that group text. He's not. Was, he's not that particular. He just gets irritated with some of these <laughs> fucking breweries yeah. that just keep fucking doing yeah. the silly beer. Yeah. Well, yeah, well yeah. Uh, uh, Chuck from um, uh, Jersey Girl was saying that too. He, he loves Bolero. He loves the guys from Bolero and stuff. He goes, "It's great, you know. You have a beer like Lucky Charms, but you you can't drink them all the time. Right. No. That was the problem. Yeah. Now they just did their first." Milkshake IPA this week. Oh, Ooh, okay. Bolero? Uh, no, uh, uh, Jersey Girl. Oh, okay. Jersey Girl. Okay. Yeah, what, it's what called was, Calyptos. What, it was that their can, can release? Yeah, Calyptos. Oh, okay. But I bought this one for you guys, you know. I yeah. Sp- I spent my wad on that, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's but fucking I thought it was good. A good yeah. Whatever you spent on it was worth it, because yeah, this yeah. is a good fucking yeah. beer. Yeah, it's man. a, it's a, I had the, sa- you know, I had a sample yeah. of it, and uh, I was like, wow, this is fucking good. I mean, I was like, I was going to go get the Calyptos cans, and I was yeah. like, I don't know. I, I think I'll just buy this. These guys are going to enjoy this one. Yeah, yeah we and don't we don't, we don't, don't care. Just show no, up. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. The, Something just, unique, the, man. Uh, what, what, what's cool on the can is, you know, it says, you know, keep refrigerated. Usually it says drink responsibly. Zigmeister can't say keep refrigerated, drink immediately. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we will. Drink immediately. <laughs> it's such a when you go when we go there, I mean he he's been there a bunch of times too. They have such a cool spot. They do. Oh, that's I, fucking man, that, that is a classic fucking brew. And and their beer garden outside yeah. now is massive because yeah. they got two of them. Yeah. They got the one that has all the tables and the umbrellas, yeah. and then they got the over. Hey, like it's a big tenant area for a beer garden with tables yeah. and then those big there's big barrels that have this wooden top that you can stand there with your beers yeah. then you got these like lawn chairs plastic lawn chairs that are humongous but out of the side slides cup holders for your beer <laughs> your beer nice <laughs> i'm like this yeah. is fucking great yeah well zig you can uh you can spend send the sponsorship uh Check, check to uh, <laughs> PayPal. Yeah, because we've just spent uh, about ten minutes talking about Zigmeister <laughs> and, and their brewery. Yeah, yeah, no charge for that. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. yeah we, we won't. Go. We won't charge. Just treat us well when we come yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. You know, it'll tro- cost you four pints. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Throw tro- some beer. <laughs> call, call Mike up at uh, Milk Street. He'll tell you how to handle us. Yeah, yeah. Mike, yeah, Mike, Mike knows what we're about. Apparently, Mike calls everywhere else to tell us how to handle Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, good, good, good fucking beer, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, agreed. And most of you people listening, if you're not in Jersey, you'll never get to taste it. No, I thought, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of... I'm sure they can get it. Oh, yeah, there's beer traders yeah, yeah, and beer all that. traders and yeah. shit. Yeah, like there that. is, but, yeah. you know. Let's start a company. Beer brokers. We have to, we have <laughs> beer to, brokers. We have to send some, some beers out to uh, Mike Jay. Miller, too. Uh, yeah. Kenny and Che are both coming out. I know. I heard. I heard. I heard. Yeah. Are we going to, like, I know we're going to drink at the cottage. I'm, I'm taking off, man. I'm taking off Friday and Monday. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. I think Kenny and Kane are staying in the city, and I think Chase probably going to be right there behind you. <laughs> yeah, Chase. Is, is he crashing here? I, I believe so. so. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out next week at the meeting. Yeah. Sweet. Which we might have to call in for that meeting, because I think we're supposed to be at Sourland Distillery at the same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, and we'll call into the meeting from the where, distillery. Where is yeah. Sourland Distillery? Somewhere in Mercer County. Yeah. We're going to need a designated driver. We're taking volunteers for designated drivers. Yeah, who wants to drive us? Who wants to drive yeah. us to mill? It's, it's going to be fucking entertaining. Yeah. Don't make me drive. And don't... <laughs> Patrick, I, don't, I don't mind to drive, but you know. I said we're taking volunteers. Patrick, disaster! Put your fucking hand down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, just, <laughs> you're not fucking. We're, you are. We are not designating you the fucking driver anywhere. No. Hey, if anybody, especially it, since we're going to a distillery and you drink yeah. whiskey. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what happens? It starts out as I drive you guys, and then uh, you remember the movie Old School with Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah. Once it hits your lips, yeah, he that, totally turns uh, into a different person. That, that's Pat. Yeah. I'll be the designated driver. My limit is 12 shots. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'll stop. And <laughs> our fucking, you know, by that time, our judgment's off, too. Yeah, yeah he seems <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah he's, he's right. good. He's, he's Let's good to go, go, Pat. He's good to go. <laughs> I'm not going to get the DUI. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. thinking we might die or kill yeah. somebody. Yeah. yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, it's all a roll of the dice when you're with Pat. Yeah, even when he's sober. <laughs> even when he's sober. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a roll of the dice. Yeah, it's always a game. You're yeah. always putting your life in Pat's hands, <laughs> yeah. which what? is never a good Somewhere. fucking idea. <laughs> Talk about Pat. Did, did we figure out what happened to him last week? He was supposed to come? I don't know. He was supposed know. to be here last week. He didn't show up. He pulled the new shit. Yeah. Shit happens in Pat land. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, a lot of shit happens. Yeah. But anyway. Things happen, man. Yes. But Pat, Pat's a very, you know. Pat will make yeah, he's, many he's, more appearances. He's got an open social calendar. So. He will make many more appearances on a yes. Nation. Yes. And a fan club list. Yes. Oh, he's perfect for it. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I love him when he's like the correspondent for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah, think we're great. sending him to the president's dinner. Aren't we? Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> In the city? Yes. When he's like yeah. with all the dignitaries? <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> If, if they don't want any of us to be associated with them, I think we should just send back. Well, that's our way of saying, don't invite me to shit like that. Yeah, don't this. invite exactly. me to shit like yeah, exactly. Stop making yes. fucking plans for me. Uh, now you know better. I got shit going on. Did, they, have, did they invite you? Yeah, yeah because well, you're the... I don't... I, we, I'm not getting into did, did, it. Did you get a Did you get a hand delivery by a man with a horn? No. <laughs> like, 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 we cordially invite you. I don't even know if it's a real thing or if it's just somebody's idea yeah. right now. Just, just, well, just, if it's a real thing, there's a, there's, Patrick Disaster there, is going to be there in his Green Bay Packers gear. I don't know if gear. you've noticed. <laughs> the green bow tie. we got to give him a bow tie. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, really? And somehow they fucking... They're you attracted know, to this. Yeah, they're circle. attracted to either the fucking yeah. Raiders or yeah. podcasting yeah. somehow yeah. or and some, fucking. And somehow we became the sun and everybody's revolving around yeah. us. For yeah. Some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I don't know. We got nothing to do with any of these fucking people. <laughs> we, we didn't even set out to be special in any way, shape, <laughs> or form, but apparently we are. We got nothing to do with any of these fucking people, but if <laughs> something goes wrong with somebody that. I know on a name only fucking basis, then somehow I'm fucking responsible for it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's coming at me from the left and the right. This guy, run, run, run. I'm, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I, I, How about you leave me the fuck alone? I, and then they get, what are you talking to me like that for? <laughs> How do you think I feel? I people, I got people coming at me, and I don't even know who the fuck they are. I talked to them once, twice. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Yeah. A hi, a hello, a goodbye. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm a fucking target. That's fucking crazy people. <laughs> but I, that's how it always is. Anywhere I go, there's, I get the crazy fucking people. Yeah. Just like when I was on vacation, some fucking drunk girls looking for her shoes and asking me for her shoes, and I go, I don't even fucking know you. I've never <laughs> met you. <laughs> Why would I have and she has shoes, shoes on. <laughs> and I go, what, what are those? She goes, oh, I just found them on the deck. And I'm how, like, how old was she? A little older. Yeah. My wife's looking at her like, the fuck is she on? I go, I well, would have f- found her shoes. I know you would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I wanted them to come down with me. But we're attracted to these people, Chuck. No, they're that's attracted what, to us. Yeah, it's like a tractor beam. I'm definitely not attracted to these people. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, our, our, our revolving gravitational thing sucks them yeah. in. <laughs> An <Inebernation. laughs> On the Crow's Nest Podcast, Podcast Network. Network. Home of the Pillaging Podcast. The Crow's Nest Podcast. East Coast Nation. Ladies no, of Darkness. And No Ledge. And, La- uh, the ladies are cool. And um, Put on Waivers. Put, put on, on waivers. waivers. Yes. That's right. You know, I haven't listened to Put <laughs> Sorry, on Waivers. Dwayne. Have you guys? <laughs> yeah. I haven't listened to Put on Waivers yet, have you? Uh, I listened yeah. to an episode, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. It's cool, I, yeah. you know. I try to get to listen. I, I don't have enough time. I try to listen to everybody. Yeah, I, you know, I, I try to listen to everybody, but, you know. I don't I will, know. To me, I'm more invested in baseball season right now, so I'm not dealing with any kind of Raiders crap. I listen to, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I listen to less podcasts now, only because do, I don't. Doing them. I don't fucking drive and take the bus to fucking yeah. Manhattan oh, yeah. every day. Yeah, that's when I would play my podcast. Yeah. yeah. You know, because fucking, um, I also attracted the, all the crazy people on the fucking bus too. <laughs> so 
if I'm listening to shit, they don't start talking to me. <laughs> Although I got on the bus the other day, and uh, the new buses all have seat belts in the seats. Eh. I got on, and fucking guy was fucking. He puts his on. He's fucking sitting next to me. There's 57 people on the bus. You're the only one wearing a fucking seatbelt. You wanted to be safe. Besides you and the driver. <laughs> if this fucking bus hits anything that you would need a fucking seatbelt for, you're fucked. Because yeah, yeah, most yeah. things this bus hits, you ain't even going to know you hit something. No. <laughs> yeah. No. And uh, if that seatbelt's going to come in handy, then we're going off of a fucking bridge or something. And then fuck, <laughs> fuck your seatbelt. <laughs> You'll be the only one that doesn't I end just, up piled up in the front I just, by the driver. I just found it funny. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's just kind of a strange dude. Yeah, that's weird. But I don't have that many good bus stories anymore because I only take yeah. it, like, yeah. once, twice a week. Yeah. Well, at least it's good for you. You don't have to go that much in the city. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it went from every day to, like, once, twice a week. Yeah. And well, you see, that's, you think know. Pretty that's soon what, it'll be down yeah. to nuns a that's week, why. which is even better. Nuns, why, nuns a week? Yes, That's nuns. why, that's why that's I turned down order. that full-time corporate freaking job. I'm like, nope. Yeah. I ain't commuting freaking. I ain't doing any of that shit. Yeah. I want to, you know what I want to do? I was sitting there thinking the other day. I want to win the lottery so I can. Uh, that's a solid plan, <clears> So I can bankroll Splat Grow. Win the lottery. For you guys. That's my plan. Yeah. I've just been my, trying. My, my plan is to win the lottery and, like. To build us a commercial kitchen with a brewery attached yeah. to it, and That's you, what I mean. you and Fitz could be in there curing your fucking sausages. <laughs> now, me, how, how smoking, much, smoking me, meat? Me, me and Chuck could be brewing, and then we'll have our Cheech and Chong fucking beer van. How come? <laughs> how come Crows gets to serve food? Because they're a well, brew they're, pub. They're a brew pub. Oh. So they're not selling. No. You can't like get a growler there. Uh, no, you can you now. Can. You can yeah. now, but you but they they can't they can't bottle and can their beers. Yeah. Okay, and sell them commercially only there. But w- what about Angry Eric? They don't can their beers or bottle their beers. They they can. They can. Yes. He well, can. what the he, fuck? Fucking get on it, you dipshit. Well, they have made bottles. Have they? Yeah. I haven't fucking seen. He, them. Uh, yeah. Usually around the holidays, they come out with bottles. You know what? Uh, Fitz is right. He doesn't get angry. Because even his thing about the thing, he didn't even spell hell out. He had a he thing spelled, about a thing? Well, his little post on Facebook, he was talking about, like, it's hotter than hell outside. Mm. He didn't spell hell out. He spelled H-E, and he put two hockey stick logos. That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, he didn't but, even get uh, mad. Lo- That's long, not very Viking of long, long, No, I know. Long Valley Pub and Brewery is the same way. Yeah. yeah. But like, all, all of the original, I would guess you would call microbreweries in New Jersey, other than High Point. In Butler, who makes Romstein. Yep. All of the other ones were brew pubs. All right. Um, Ship in, Crows, Crows, Long Valley Pub and Brewery, right. um, uh, uh, a couple of, you know, uh, what is that? Cricket Hill. You know, uh, they were all, they all started out as brew pubs. And so you got food. So they, they were half restaurant, half brewery. They were all the original ones. And they operated like that for a while. Then Christy took all the fucking regulations off and opened up the breweries and distilleries and everything to everybody. So now you didn't need to have a restaurant to brew beer, to right. sell in your restaurant. You could just brew beer and have people bring food and sit in your brewery and drink your beer and but eat somebody you, else's food. But you can't have a restaurant if you want one. No, because you have to get a different license. Yeah, different license. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yes, different license. Because now you need a restaurant license and a brewery license. Okay. So. Why haven't we done a show at Crows? I don't know why we haven't done a show. It's like five minutes up the fucking street. We should really, we should talk to them. I would have said something to you guys, but I didn't know if we were going to ever. Their place is big enough. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's big enough. Sure. We should, one of you guys should get over there and talk to them. That's far from me. Yeah. We don't like going to Sparta. I I know. know. I know. (laughs) I don't even like driving through it. But, uh, yeah, but I, I like, they make good beers. They do make good beers. Yeah. I'll tell you that fucking, what was it, that Imperial Stout that I had. Oh, that, yeah, that comes that, from the mine that the they Russian, put in the mine. Yeah, the yeah. Russian one. Oh, it, it poured like motor oil, but, man, yeah. it tasted good. Yeah, I never yeah. got to try one. Yeah, you get a free, yeah. when you buy it, because it was what? Well, didn't Milk Street make their first 
War Penny Bourbon? Not, one the, of the, not yeah, the first yeah. one, the most recent the most one. Oh, the most recent it, one came it, from there? I thought that came from a Zygmeister. And they, I, they're, they're, no, no, they did The most recent War Penny came from, from Crows, Crows, from the yeah. Imperial Stout I, I believe so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they just posted a picture of it just recently yeah. on Facebook. Well, there there was a, a it was a review yeah, review that's it yeah a really good review yep. from yeah. some bourbon bourbon fucking review snob fucking place I yeah. don't know but they liked it so yeah so okay. we won't fuck with them too much no <laughs> don't bash our boys we'll no. come after yeah, you. no yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. those the, yeah Milk Street's home turf <laughs> yeah no yeah. They're, they're, those <laughs> even though they're far away from me that's home turf that's man. crew. That's Yes, that that's the crew right that's there. That's crew. Actually, you could probably consider that. Now, when we, listen, when we say that's crew, that doesn't mean we have any control over any <laughs> oh, any of their what actions, they what they say, <laughs> what they do, <laughs> if, you know, whatever, artwork, nothing. We got nothing to do with it. <laughs> no. We're, we're just saying don't fuck with them. We're just but you know, we're we're, we're adopt we're adopted we're adopting them, but we're not yes. responsible. Yes. Right, we're not responsible <laughs> yes. for their they're, actions. They're, they're our adoptive distillery. We're only <laughs> we're only responsible for the actions of four people, and only while we're recording this show. So, exactly. <laughs> when I when I when I leave here, I'm not responsible for what Tom does. He's not responsible for what I do. Yep. Nope. <clears throat> yeah. When on the show, then Fitz, Fitz is in Point Pleasant drinking his ass off, and, and we're not. None responsible. of us are fucking responsible for no. what he's doing. That, no, and neither is he. That that, that that's Mrs. Fitz. <clears throat> that, that, yeah, that, that pitch that picture he took he took of douchebag yesterday yeah. was hilarious. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Mr. Tito's. Yeah, and he, and he put it like he goes, I put the fucking camera right in his face, and he still yeah. didn't fucking budge. <laughs> like yeah. he right there, you know, he's a douche. Yeah. Yeah, but I just want to clarify. Crew just means, you know, yeah, this is our, it's, it's not a real crew. No. So yeah, we're, we're, no, yeah. but we're, you know, it's like, it's like a mob. Yeah. We're, we're, it's like mob related. But yeah, we're not, we're not we're taking not, trains trying train. to get back to Coney Island. No, no, so. no, no. <laughs> no. We don't wear patches. And no. no. Oh. We don't have the paint don't our have, faces like clowns yeah, or no, anything. No. no. We don't have the jackets. And all of us don't wear the same fucking jacket. Mm. Right. The same fucking, right. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to take a break. Yeah, let's take a break. Yeah, I got to take a piss. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. We're back from break. Yeah, we're back from break. Yeah. What are we drinking? Ah, uh, we're drinking uh, probably our new favorite fucking uh, brewery's beer. Long Ireland Beer Company. Yes. Raspberry wheat. Raspberry wheat. And it is raspberry. Yes. It's raspberry. It's yeah. wheaty. It's uh, alcohol is, you 5%. know. 5%. Yeah, 5%. Um, hey, man. It's a hundred and fucking God knows what outside. And a nice raspberry fucking wheat <laughs> fucking, ale. Throw, fucking throw these things on ice and fucking drink them down. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we just we walked outside for what? Was it 10 minutes yeah. we were out there? Yeah. And I'm drenched already. Exactly. Yeah. And my beer's warm. Yeah. Yeah. And the beer is warm. <laughs> and it was ice cold and when I opened it. And it was ice cold when we opened fucking, it. Fucking 10 the, gla- the glass didn't even have time to sweat. It all va- evaporated yeah. on the outside of it. But it's a nice beer, man. Sure. Nice fucking light. Yeah. yeah, perfect fucking beer is, for. Yeah. I, what's the heat yeah. index right now? It's like 108. 108. Yeah, 100, 108. 108, yeah. whatever. Yeah, 108 so. fucking nasty, humid, <laughs> fucking New Jersey yeah. bullshit, man. 108 in the Berg. Yep. Yeah, fucking hey, Jesus man. Christ, bring on the snow. No, no, no fuck the snow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no snow this year. I don't have. I'm not gonna have a. Overhang the park. Can we car, just get but... some fucking San Diego weather? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm all for global warming. <laughs> I want palm trees and 70 fucking degrees and a breeze outside my house yeah. and the ocean a block away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Warm that shit the fuck up. Then the fucking poor bastards in Alaska, fucking 90 fucking four <laughs> degrees yeah. when it's supposed to be uh, 70. Well, uh, I, I, you, you think it is global warming? No. Then? No. It's just fucking hot, man. Yes. I don't get it. The fucking planet's billions of fucking years old. Yeah, I know. He's I'm going to die. The planet yeah, will still be yeah, around. Exactly. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, everything that fucking they're all fucking chicken littles are yelling about fucking be 300 fucking years from now, but they don't do anything fucking to solve the problems fucking that are happening right now. They're worried about 300 fucking years and what's going to happen fucking for some fucking kids that may or may not even fucking be born. <laughs> so, well, it's like Carlin said, right? Yeah. What did he say? He said, "Fucking, you know, they're talking about. Oh, we gotta save the planet, planet. save the planet." He's like, "Save the planet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Planet's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Planet's gonna just... be fucking fine, man. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
but the planet is just going <laughs> to shake us off like like, like, like it fleas. did the fucking dinosaurs. Like fucking, yeah, exactly. You know? That's exactly what's going to fucking happen. And, and he wasn't wrong about that. No. He has so much he's, fucking He's going to be that. left with a bunch of fucking plastic. He's like, maybe, yeah. maybe the planet wanted plastic. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and now that we've made enough, he can shake us off. Yeah. And... It's got all the plastic it needs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Car- Carlin is rarely wrong. No. No, man. No, he's like, the, the, the fucking, this planet has survived <laughs> yes. the fucking, the shifting of the magnetic poles. Yes. Fucking being bombarded with fucking <laughs> yeah, asteroids, yeah. volcanic eruptions, yes. and we see, have the nerve. See, to, to, pe- to people like us, George Carlin is our gun. We God. have the <laughs> exactly. We we have the fucking nerve to think that we're gonna hurt it with some fucking plastic. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we used to we would sit there and watch them, and it was like it was like uh, what is it Bible to us, you know? Yeah. Because it was just like sure that is the most amount of truth that you're ever gonna get out of one human being. Yeah. Yep. And that was Carlin. Oh, Speaking of truth, this is good fucking beer. This is, is a really good yeah. fucking beer. Yeah, Long Island Beer Company, fucking Just, another fucking home run. Yeah, they're swinging, hitting, Fuck, fucking. And, I, and I, hey, I'm a virgin to it. This yeah. is my first Long Island. Tre- you guys are treating this good up oh, here. Oh, there's more in the fridge. Of, I think there's uh, some Beach Please in there. Oh, Those I haven't really had a good. Beach Please yet. Oh, okay, there's some of them in there. I got um, you guys are treating this really good up here in North Jersey, so uh, fucking keep them coming. Yeah, man. And as long as you keep them coming... You're going to we'll hear your fucking it. name here every fucking week. Yeah, when are those fucking, <laughs> when are we going to see those stouts here? Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Now? I think they're releasing something this week. Uh, sour or something, didn't I send you yeah, the info Yeah, 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 yeah. They got like a sour today. coming like, out. Like today, I, I think, think they're releasing. Uh, yeah, what I type of sour? Do the, you know? Or? Uh, I'd have to look it up. Yeah. But, but, I, uh, but I caught that on Instagram. Yeah, there was some sour release today or something. Nice. So. Yeah. Yeah. But so that, hope- that, that most deaf. That most deaf mosaic that fucking that was killer, fucking man. really good. That's wow, fucking killer. Yes, they yeah they have a, a, a mosaic fucking IPA. It's fucking and they call it most deaf. It's got nice. the fucking record on it yeah, and everything. It, it. It's got it looks just like the most yeah. deaf fucking logo. Yeah, it's, yeah war- warning explicit hops. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's fucking. That's a good fucking beer, yeah, man. Fucking really good, man. Yeah, I fucking found those. Uh, where did I find those? Gary's. Uh, Gary's or Bottle King, one of the two. Gary, and uh, in Wayne, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, you know, I was, yeah, no, it was Bottle King. Oh, okay. Right, and I saw they had like, and they had another one, and I was like, fuck, I don't know which one to get. And they're all in the cold section where they belong. Nice, yes, because beer, the beer is fucking cold. We're not and, fucking, we're and, not in England. And they were only ten ninety nine. They're twelve ninety nine at fucking. Shoprite yeah. and eleven ninety nine at this guy here to ten ninety nine down there. Yeah. So, you know, I can always pull in on the way home. But they had three different. They had Beach Please, they had the uh, the Most Staff, and then there's another IPA. I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna have to try that one next. Yeah, sure. The, Obviously, yes. <laughs> this one I just happened to see at Shoprite, and yeah. I got it the other day. And uh, as fuck, I was like, that fucking god. Yeah. Actually, no, I got this and I got the uh, most staff at the same time. Okay. I got those at, at, at Gary's. Yeah. But I picked up these ones today at ShopRite. Right. Cool. Tasty. Thank it you, is. Long Island Beer Company. Yes. Very nice. Like I said, like, like I told you guys on Instagram, cheers. Keep them fucking coming. Yeah. <laughs> Big, we, f- big fans up here in the corner of Jersey, man. We got anything in the news, Pots? <laughs> yeah. I s- well, uh, real news. I sent you one. Did you get it or no? Probably. You but. didn't. You, you didn't prepare anything on the on the the, the, the meth gators. No, no. Did you see someone stole our meth gator news? Oh, they did. There, there's these two drunk idiots that do a podcast too. Oh, and, I didn't and, see and, that. And, and they do they do video, so they're live. Yeah. And then one of the and they have the little they have the little they're more advanced than us. They have the little graphic on the side and the next thing coming up new meth gators. I'm like. What the fuck? We just put that. We put that out before. No, we didn't. Else. We didn't no? talk about it. No, yet. no. Wow. I just messaged you and say, look this but up. That, so but no, that was a while. Ago. But when you messaged me, it was a while ago because last. Yeah, week, but we haven't talked about it on the show. No. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I got it here. Well, yeah. I got I got a regular news. Yeah. Okay. Beer news like okay. A straight up. You guys remember uh, that Australian right. bre- brewer uh, CUB, right? Uh, no. Carlton United Breweries. You, you've seen their beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sold. Oh, right. They sold to Asahi, right? Yeah, Asahi, a Japanese company. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, 16 But they've billion. been sold like 57 times. <laughs> I know, yeah. but I was like, because I read it. I was Anheuser-Busch like, owned them for yeah, a while. So, so I was then, like, who bought it? So they, they bought it from Anheuser-Busch InBev. Yeah. So, right. So yeah, they Asahi, bought they bought it from MBEV. Yeah, so the Asahi bought it. So sixteen billion. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah because that's because Anheuser Busch InBev is busy buying up all the fucking craft breweries. Yeah, yeah, States. and dicking, yeah. Uh, dicking all of us yeah, over, and sticking fucking St. Louis, Missouri on. Yeah, I but, don't give a fuck really. I, if they if they buy them up and the you know, the beer's cheaper. Uh, yeah, yeah, my, there's no reason. My 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 theory is this. Say uh, I'm Zigmeister, I'm Manskirt, and fucking Budweiser reps come fucking walking in one day and said, we'll give you fucking $20 million for your fucking brewery and the rights to your beer. Sold. Sold. (laughs) (laughs) I fucking, you know, you put your heart and soul into it. You built a business that somebody's willing to give you $20 million for. Sold to the man in the suit. Fucking sold. Cut me a check now and I'll walk out the fucking door. Yeah. (laughs) And everything's yours. And if the, I'll just start another one. And if, and if the devil and comes, sell, and sell that for twenty and if, the, too. and if the devil comes in with a better offer, I'll sell yeah, to I'll him. Sell to him too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and throw I, in a soul. Yeah, I will never disparage a small business fucking owner for fucking no. taking what they fucking deserve for starting a fucking company, and then start another one, and then start another one, or fucking that, take the money yes. and run. Yep. Whatever you want to do. Exactly. I got no problem with that. No, man. I got look, no problem with it. You know, that's and, that's what I hope <clears throat> happens with Splat Grow Brewing Company. Somebody comes walking in, yeah. we'll give you $20 million. Everybody See likes, you later. <laughs> everybody likes to harp on these big fucking American yeah. and European, like, yeah. you know, major fucking breweries. Yeah. They like to talk shit about, you know, the American fucking, you know, typical fucking lagers that, yeah. you know, they all make. You know, they fucking... They, they were the they were the only guys in town, you know, that had the fucking money to to get going after yeah, prohibition. Sure, all the guys were off at war. They came out with these light beers that they yeah. that they thought would have you know mass market appeal, and they fucking made millions and millions and billions. And fucking, yeah. why are we knocking them for that? I would knock them. And I- and and if the and if you know and and if. I don't know where that paused, but whatever. Okay. I think I think it was only a couple seconds, seconds. ago. It had to be. <laughs> all right, sorry. Right. Um, but yeah, if people want to, you know, if if Mbev sees that fucking people want IPAs and people want fucking sours and people, yeah. it's never gonna, you know, have the mass appeal that fucking, uh, you know, your run of the mill fucking loggers do. Yes. But if there's a market for it, they're gonna a either buy up some of these craft breweries and, and keep and, the names and keep, and, keep, the names. and keep them running like how they are or they'll brew their own yes. because there's no reason that they can't no and but you see I, I i the reason why i think they're buying up all these small breweries is because when the like in bab like budweiser Coors, whatever they come out with oh we're making this now People don't take it the seriously. The fucking lumberjacks yeah. don't like it. Yeah, people don't take it seriously. Right. The fucking. So that's what that's where they started. Okay, we're gonna try to start acquiring some of these smaller breweries right. and keeping all the stuff the same, and people will be like, oh, okay, and they'll still buy it and they still make the money. See, right. I'm not faulting anybody for you know. selling their fucking business for more money than they put into it. So, no, fuck. because that's no. the fucking American dream, actually. Because that's what, that, that is what you're supposed to do as a small business. Yeah, because, like, just say just say you opened up, you dropped about two and a half mil. Just say you dropped two and a half mil into the thing, and you're, you know, I mean, you're starting to make money and everything. Well, then the fucking... Me and Chuck are looking about 4000 Yeah, I, I know. know. <laughs> I know. No, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just talking in millions because, like, how much money these things are going for. And then all of a sudden they turn around, you're you're doing good, and then this guy comes in and buys you, and now you're looking at a three hundred million dollar sale. Uh yeah. Oh, you're talking about Dogfish Head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just... yeah, dog sure. That yeah. was a, that was that was a no brainer for well, fucking well, Cagrion. I would have I would have yeah. ran to the fucking bank as fast as I could. Yeah, that was a no brainer yeah, where, for where, where do I sign? Yeah, yeah. I am I'm, I'm I'm sure from his apartment in New York City to now and him getting a three hundred million dollar check. Yeah, and, I'm and sure he, got, he never envisioned that in his life. But he and he set up for the future too because they yes. like so many stock options that they yes. gave him and gave yes. him and it's and no one's getting fired. No, the people are still working, so it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. him personally. Like, yeah, ah, oh, I don't have to. 
You know, yeah. it's like, done. yeah, you know, I did. I set out to do my thing and I did it. And he did. He accomplished his goal. Man. And he's going to take money. And he got and he, paid for his goal. Yeah, and, and he it, can continue his goal. And he's going to take his money and he's going to invest into something yeah. else. He's going to do something yeah, else. He's, yeah, they he's, do. Like, he's not Maybe a dumb... Maybe he can invest in us. Huh? Maybe he Splat, can. Um, <laughs> Black yeah, Grove. Um, uh, 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 what's his actual <laughs> pronunciation? <laughs> I know it's somewhere. I don't know. There we go. Okay, Sam. Caglione. Um, we have the book. He's getting tagged in this. Yeah, he's getting tagged in this. Uh, owner of uh, Dogfish Head. Um, we have Splat Grove Brewing Company, and being you just got a windfall of fucking money from fucking Budweiser, <laughs> or who who bought him? Coors? Well, we don't have Splat Grove Brewing Sam Company Adams. yet. It's, Sam Adams. Sam Adams. It's a plan. It's a plan. So um, if you can help us with our plan, because yeah, we, have, we have your book. We're just home and brewers I, and right I, now. I, I've but. read your book twice, so um, I kind of know what to do, but if we can get your help, and some sort of backing. <laughs> yeah. I, that would be fucking great, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Have your people call our yeah, people. Have, yeah, have your people call us, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, and our people are not the same as your people. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Their so, people are not yeah. the same. You, you can call me or Chuck direct. We don't care. Yeah. Yeah. You can email us. <laughs> email us. Inebranation at yahoo.com. Uh, yahoo.com. Send Te- us a fucking email. And, We're and, on board. Yeah. And then text Tom at 3 o'clock. That's too yeah, much don't... money for one guy anyway. Yeah. 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 You don't need that much according to like, you know, the, the general social parameters. You know, What are you going to do with that much? We just far just... too much. <laughs> we only need like. Twenty five, thirty five thousand, just to, yeah, you know, exactly. That's comfortably, all we, that, that's all we. Yeah. Need. It's, it's called the startup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but you know, yeah, yeah, man. This so, is a good. This is a good fucking. So beer. no more. So no more news. Uh, no more, no more news about, about the alligators. Uh, meth gators, fucking drunken, fucking dopes. No, I, no, There's I got nothing. I got another basic, you know, uh, beer news. I sent you guys. I don't know. Sick of sick of complex craft brews. You may want to. You may want some regular beer. DeClaw Brewing is actually making a beer called, called regular, regu- beer. regular beer. Regular beer. I see that. Nice. Yeah. Regu- regular beer, and it's a regular beer. A regular beer, man. Right. So if you're tired of all these obtuse flavors, they say, and you just can't wait just to have a regular beer. The claw is right. is helping you out with a, a regular beer, and the you label know, is a regular label. Yeah. And you know what? Showing. I'm on board with that. Me too. Because you know, it, it's sometimes great. you just want a fucking yeah, regular yeah, beer. Yeah. Sometimes, you watch, you just, sometimes you just want to bang down a fucking six pack of regular right. fucking. Right. Did you ever watch? Did watch you ever some watch? fucking sports ball. <laughs> exactly. Knock back a fucking six yes. or twelve yeah. pack of the, fucking yeah. beer. The Stand label, out in the backyard with the fucking grill going you know, with a fucking six pack of the, fucking. You don't want to have to fucking talk about it on a fucking podcast exactly. or take fucking notes. Yeah. And what have kind of little... beer are you drinking? Regular fucking beer. Beer, beer. And, beer. <laughs> and, and everyone just... What's it taste like? If you... Fucking beer. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever drank beer? Beer, beer. beer. Yeah. The white can? The yes. White can. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Fucking... This, this is what I was getting to. I go, the, the label looks like when you were watching Married with Children. Yeah. Right. And Al was drinking beer. Beer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you've had that, right? I've had. Yeah. I, I've beer. had the generic white fucking yeah. label. Just beer. said beer. Just yeah. Beer. yeah. And that's just a straight up beer. I yep. like Repo Man, where they have food. Yeah. <laughs> food. Yeah. Food. Beer. Food. Smoke. Beer, smokes. smokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're cutting. They're, they're just. They're not making it hard for you. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. They're doing it. Nah, Get yourself is, some regular nah, beer. It's fuck cool, man. If that's and, what you want. You know, I have some regular beer in the fridge at home. You know what? And and Duke Oil makes a lot of good fucking beers too. Not man. that beer, but I have. I have you some, know. Yeah. You know, just yeah, regular yeah, beer. Yeah. Re- regular beer. Yeah, Duke, Duke Oil's pretty good, man. I've, I've had several of their other beers. I haven't had their regular beer yet, but... That's cool, though. Yeah, it is. I, I, if we can get it, anybody out there, fucking, hey, man, send us a fucking six-pack you know, of where fucking... Are they, where are they located? I think Oregon. See, somebody probably came in and was like, doesn't anybody just make regular beer <laughs> yeah, anymore? Exactly, yeah. Do you have any just... <laughs> yeah, just I, I think they're regular from, beer. from Oregon, they, right? They, yeah, it, I think the claws from Oregon. Yeah. It, it, so somebody out of yeah. Northwest, man, fucking send us a six pack. Maybe yeah. just fucking set. Splatterhead's got a lot of people in maybe Seattle. Got, fucking yeah. send us a fucking maybe six the, pack. Maybe the brewer from Duclaw was just sitting on the shitter one day, just like, man, why can't I just make a fucking regular? I beer? That's probably I, I, that's probably what it was. He's like, you know what? I'm sick of fucking this shit. I, I, I'm just gonna make regular fucking beer. I guarantee you, somebody fucking it came up in a conversation. conversation. Somebody said, yeah, Adam, hey, Adam, can you just? Make, does anybody just, just make regular you beer? Make a regular anymore? beer and make a fucking label that says regular fucking beer yeah. and fucking be done with it. 
Now are they going to sell it for fucking twelve ninety nine? Exactly. Four regular beer, yeah, regular beer, fucking six pack, fourteen fucking dollars. But <laughs> yeah. you know, it's regular beer. Yeah. And so now, and regular beer now was fucking more and, rare and you're than, still, all, the fucking and you're cra- still than all the fucking good beer. And you're still getting it from a craft guy. <laughs> and you're still getting it, yes. So, you know. Yes, it's marketing fucking he genius. You can't not match the price point of Budweiser, no, folks. No, it's marketing fucking genius, man. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, it, you, We'll circle back to the meth gators. Okay. Okay. Uh, the meth gators. You know, I have uh, I have some gator tails in the fucking re- in in the freezer that I gotta cook up one of these fucking days. Maybe I'll cook them up for the show, but I, I I'm gonna need to get some meth to sprinkle it on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be eating that, but uh, the meth gators. Uh, Tennessee police warn flushing drugs could create. I thought you said hyper- we were circling back to it. Uh, that's what we're doing. There's right? gators you, in oh, Tennessee. Where because you said I didn't have the story, but I had it up. On okay. My phone. Uh, ten. See, police were warning. Tennessee. No. There's gators in Tennessee. It's Murph. Watch out, man. Yeah. Watch Wait, out. I thought it was about Alabama, and then I it, thought it, there's gators well, in it's, Alabama. It's, 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 yeah, there is gators in Alabama, saying, but there ain't got gators in Tennessee as far as saying, I know. Ten- well, uh, maybe this part, L- Loretto, Tennis- Tennessee. I don't Who know. Knows? Probably Loretto. It, well, L O. No, they don't have Mexican names no, in no. Tennessee. It, it has an E in it, not an A. L- yeah. Loretto. It's Jim Bobville. <laughs> Uh, could could create hyper aggressive alligators if you flush the meth. Really? So, police department in Loretta, Tennessee, is asking residents to refrain from flushing their drugs such as methamphetamine down the toilet. To Aren't prevent- the police supposed to tell people to refrain from even having the fucking drugs? <laughs> you don't tell them to flush. I, I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess they're doing one of these things. I guess they're taking their hands and going. Like this, and just throwing them up in the air, like fuck it. So what are they? <laughs> just don't flush them. What are they thinking is happening to the the gators? Well, they're get, what they're getting was, pissed, and I'm fucking hey, uh, where's our fucking liner? Officers ex, ex executed a search warrant on a home, discovered the occupant was trying to flush meth and drug paraphernalia down his toilet. Although the suspect was unsuccessful, the officers used the incident to remind residents of the harm drugs can cause to the environment. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're piggybacking on the whole prescription pill thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. But still. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm still flabbergasted that there's alligators in fucking Tennessee. Wait, this is great. Folks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've never heard that in my life. This you is know, for, this Florida, is, Georgia, this Alabama, is, Mississippi, Texas. <laughs> I never heard anybody mention a game in Tennessee. This, this is this is this is the uh, this is the this is the uh, uh, folks, please do not flush your drugs, okay? <laughs> okay this is from the freak okay? drugs are bad, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Our yeah. sewer guys take great pride in releasing water that is cleaner than what is in the creek. But they're not really prepared for meth. The post read ducks, geese, and other fa- frequent our treatment ponds. Fucking geese are nasty as it is. I don't I want know. those motherfuckers on meth, man. They they peck they, at you when you walk. They by. need the gators to be on meth to eat those fucking things. But that's what they need. That's that was that's what what they seized from that guy's home. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he, he had a par- paraphernalia. You know, and and again. Dopers have been flushing shit down the fucking toilets for fifty so fucking years. It ties in. It ties in together. It ties in together with you guys, Alabama thing, because the post warns that meth could make its way into Shoal Creek. Shoal Creek is Tennessee River that runs in North Alabama. Oh, okay. Bodies. So, so they're warning us that meth could actually get into Ma- Alabama. Yeah. Hey, hey, fucking great. Thanks for warning us today. Yeah, we, that's the hey, last like thing a, we fucking need. Gee, who who ever thought that that would happen? Here, there's no audio on this, and my eyes aren't good enough, but you just narrate the story, because we're th- talking about uh, drugs. So, oh, there is audio. You want me to read this? Every time. <laughs> all right, all right, hang on. Let, let me start over here. Technical difficulty. Yeah. I, I was trying to actually play the audio. Jiggle the wires. Into the fucking thing. And, uh, oh, now you messed with it. Now it's going to go blip, 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 Oh, there's blip. this. This is why. This is the, it goes uh, blip, blip, blip. Well, we're going to find out if it's going to blip, blip, blip. All right? Maybe it won't. It doesn't always do it. Well, it's doing it. It's not even plugged in yet. Just kidding. All right. So we were talking about flushing drugs. Yeah. And this is, this is you know, how you can avoid. I think, see... 
these difficulties. You know what? I'm just going to put it up to the mic. There you go. That's easier. I'm going to put it up to the mic. Hopefully this works because this is great. This is this is how you yeah, how you win one. Yes. I can explain them pills. Yes. Basically, and this is the truth. Every time I flush them down that toilet, they magically reappear back in my pocket. I'm not having that. Way. I'm not having it. I promise you. Every single time I flush them down that toilet, they reappear back in my pocket. If you let go of me, I'll prove it. Well, right, okay, show me. Show me. Come on. You don't believe me? No, no, I don't. There he goes. He's going to prove it. Watch. There they go. Well, go on then. Well, show me the drugs then. In your pocket. Show me the drugs. The drugs in your pocket. What fucking drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every we, time. Are every we, time I flush them down the toilet, they magically reappear in my pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't believe me? I'll what? prove it to you. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's see. See what? <laughs> see what? There's no drugs. <laughs> are we getting a Fitz calling? Yeah, we got to call Fitz. But this shit doesn't work. So we can call him on the phone? And, and how's anybody going to hear it? I don't know. We could stick him up to the fucking phone. To the thing, like you just did. And, uh, let's, let's try to get this What happens thing if to this work? fucking plugs into your phone? I don't know. Where's my phone? Because it, it, I don't know where your phone is. Does it still make all those noises? I don't know. You gotta open a little fucking. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, you guys keep talking. This is this bad. Is, this well, is bad this is good, audio. This is good yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, this is fucking good audio. I don't know. Fucking. It's Chuck's phone. Here, try calling Fitz. Oh, there it nah, goes. Nah, it's doing it again. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. I think the wires are fucked in this thing. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Yeah. That's because Fitz puts it away and just crumbles it up and throws it in the bottom, doesn't put it back in the envelope where it belonged. Yeah, so... so this is Fitz's fault. So call him. I don't know what we're going to do. Put him on the fucking mic. That's kind of uh, weird. Okay. Because Fitz is uh, down down the shore. That's what we do in Jersey. Yeah. Go down the shore. Yeah, he's, he's, he's down the shore. He's down, down with the Bennies. He's down there fucking. He's probably fucking got all kinds of people he's pissed off at oh, already. Yeah. It didn't take him long yesterday. He no, he wasn't even. And he was there by himself. What did he fucking say? I was laughing. Laura's like, what are you laughing at? I'm like, Fitz, so the fucking lady's like, do you drink Corona? He's like, leave the door open. I'll drink out of the toilet in about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see if he picks up. He may be out, you know, doing his beach shit. Who knows what he's doing right now? He just texted before. That was like an hour ago. I uh, know. I say before. Hour and a half. Something like that. What the fuck's wrong with this cord? I don't know, man. It don't work. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay, let's leave him a Nine, message. Seven, three. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, on, it's on the fucking radio. Can I use, edit that one out? Fitz, I'll cut that out. Hey, Fitz. fuck you, Fitz. Fitz. We're not pressing one for more options. Get out of the bar, you drunkard. Yeah. <laughs> fucking dip. stop harassing Bennies, you Benny. <laughs> Later. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna hit pause. Okay. Well, just hit pause. My beer's still cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine's not. I was outside. I don't know. I don't what know was that. the temperature in your car? Uh, 125. Fuck 127. That. Fuck that. In the sun. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Mine's directly fucking, in the sun. And mine's black. Yeah. So <laughs> is mine. So is black. <laughs> mine's yeah. black too. Uh, what are we drinking? I'm drinking from Long Ireland Brewing beer company uh beach please that's my favorite beer it is fucking beach good. please is my favorite summer yeah. beer that this i've is, had this is yes. now my second long ireland yeah and, of the uh, day yes ever and ever A ever and, yeah. ever and i am fucking thoroughly happy with their beer we that, that, that fucking beer is good that's, that's fucking great chuck was like oh they have a whole bunch of it down the road at that fucking 
beer store by the at the end bottom of the hill. I went down there. I bought the four four packs. That they, had. <laughs> they don't have a bunch now. <laughs> they don't have a bunch now. No. <laughs> All I pulled in there, they had a fucking sign in the yeah, window. I asked. I, like, I asked the guy for the sign. He was like, "Oh no, 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 no." And no. And I'm like, "It's a piece of fucking paper." And I just bought all the beer you have. Yeah. You don't even have any more. So you don't need to sign the window. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Fuck no. You ain't up, what are you going to do with it? No, Long no, Island, no. they'll send us a sign. Yeah, Long Island. Send me one of those freaking promo signs. Because yeah. that's yeah. a fuck. That yeah. fucking beer's good, man. It's yeah. a really fucking that good beer. That beach house is, or uh, beach please is fucking uh, yeah. just phenomenal, yes. man. I, I mean, when we were when I was pouring it and I just took the last bit out of the can, I was like, Oh, that's a fucking good beer. Yeah. Sure. Just right away, I was like, ah, oh, this exactly. is a, That's a summertime beer, This is man. a drinker. Yep. This is yeah. a drinker. You could just sit out there in the heat and drink this. And yeah. you, know. you can. Not yeah. this heat, but regular Not this heat. heat. Yeah. You know, regular Jersey summer. Yeah, yeah. regular Jersey you know, summer. You know, regular beach day, yeah. But I wouldn't recommend a beach today. Not in the, I don't know what it's like in Long Island. But... That fucking sand will burn your feet apart. But Jersey's pretty fucking hot, and yeah. there's a west wind, and a west wind means you're getting bit by fucking flies all day. Yeah. And when it's this hot and you're sweating, you're getting bit a lot by fucking flies. <laughs> so, you know, you won't be seeing me on the beach this weekend no. fishing. <laughs> I'm not going outside other than to and from. Yeah. Well, normally, the, normally if, if you hit the coast on days like this when it's this fucking hot... The coast is kind of, like, nice because it always has the breeze and shit. Yeah. But, I don't know, whatever the fucking weather thing says, there's, like, just something right off the fucking shore that's just holding the heat at the beach. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, you because know, they're saying that, the, like, the shore area is supposed to be hotter than inland when it's usually opposite. Right. You know, so. What are you drinking? And, it, and it's pretty fucking hot here. What are you drinking, yeah. Well, I'm drinking Fleetingly Anchored by Cape May Brewing <laughs> Company. I didn't uh, drink this last week. I Chuck did. did. Um, it, 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 this ain't a beer. It's a fucking cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad co- cocktail on like a fucking. You ain't. Really, you're not mixing vodka with that. No, nah, I ain't mixing it. But it, 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 okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put like one of these down. Is it? Is yeah. it? Is it? It's a fucking eleven point what eight? Yeah, that's, that's sour, why they only yeah. sell them in single. So, yeah, that's yeah. why you can only get single cans there. Um, it's pretty fucking good. I'm only drinking one. Yeah. But Cape May, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't have yeah. a special rule. You're only allowed to buy one can. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, they sold me, too. You're not, so. uh, you know, you're all right. Walking Dead's not on until tomorrow. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I have a 21st Amendment brewery, uh, Hell or High Watermelon. Nice. Which I, I, I have never drank on the show, but I've mentioned it on the yeah. show. Yeah. Because um, we were talking about, like, watermelon beers yeah. and blah, blah. And I said, this one is a good one, man. This yeah, is a great I, I, summer Yeah, I had too. one of them before Potts got here. I liked it a lot. I'll buy that again. Yeah. I like so. 21st Amendment. Yeah. They yeah. make good beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they got yeah, good beers. Yeah, they got yeah, some good stuff, man. You but know? Th- this one is uh, tasty, man. It's just, it. it's like a watermelon riney flavor. Yeah. It's not like sweet or no, anything. That, that is a good hot weather beer right there. Yeah. That is really good, man. Throw it in that cooler with ice, man. Ice cold. That's a good fucking beer to drink on days like this. You know, I agree. So, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys got anything else, man? I don't know. I don't know. What, what do we? Uh, how was you guys' week? How was my week? Week Worked. was uh, week was okay. Yeah, no, I was I was up in an attic yeah. most of the week. Yeah. Fixing people. Every the heat caused every single problem with people's yeah. central air. Yeah. Sure. So I was just. Yeah. Job the job going around yeah, with this one guy yeah. that does them all and ch- fixing them all. Yeah, well, yesterday I had a three hour job, turned into 10 hours. <laughs> but I made, you know, a lot more money. So yeah, That's good. Always yeah, make money. But, you know, the guy was like, oh, you can always come back, you know, tomorrow, which means today I was like, fuck you. It's going to be like fucking 110 degrees tomorrow. I'm getting this done now. So, you know, and then my yep. Friday night was drinking beer, listening to punk rock with my ex wife's dog. Nice. So, did you guys drink anything unusual over the week? No, no, I really didn't. Um, 
I drank Beach Please all week. <laughs> That's what I drank all week. Yeah. I, I, I bought the four four packs on Wednesday, and I've been drinking them ever since. Till I had, today. I, I had, <laughs> then I, I had, had different my, beers. So. I had my last Natty Bow yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, I shit. Cried. Fucking. I cried. You know. It was like. Uh, yeah. But. But I but, killed my last two in Cape May yeah. on the beach at like fucking ten o'clock, smoking a fucking bowl, watching fucking the bay. I did a. I, <laughs> I killed my last. Two I picked even. up uh, aside from the most staff and the uh, the raspberry wheat from Long Island. I picked up uh, Flying Dog put out a, a Mexican lager. Yeah, How cool. Was it? It's called Numero Uno. <laughs> I picked up a six pack of those, knocked them back pretty fucking quick. Um, good man, good good fucking mexican lager this put, is flying dog yeah okay they put lime in it okay which yeah that's what fucking white people do when they yeah. get mexican beer because they saw it on a commercial but <laughs> you don't do that in mexico so i don't think it needed the lime but it I mean, fucking beer was good man yeah you know okay knocked those back uh and uh yeah, and then my my Long Islands were fucking that. We gotta get the we gotta drink, we gotta get pick up some of that most death for for the show next week. Yeah, yeah. we gotta get out there. <clears throat> we, we gotta uh, get we, out we there. We gotta take a road trip out there. We definitely gotta take a road trip out to Long <laughs> Island Beer yeah. Company. Yep. I, I got something that per, kind of pertains to you, Chuck. If I can find it here on Instagram, it pertains to me. Yes. All right. But uh, yeah, those were my beer adventures. I didn't dabble in uh, any crazy new uh, whiskeys or anything. I believe this is here. I drank a lot of fucking beer this week. Okay. Oh, I, I always do every week, but did yeah. you eat? You didn't do any hard liquor this week. Oh, I'm yeah. I threw some shots in. There. Yeah, like but I mean, just nothing. Tequila. Nothing. And yeah. I still, I got, I got to go to Milk Street again. I'm just well, bringing her name. You, yeah, I, we all have to go to Milk Street again. Well, I, I talked to Mike go. this morning and said, we, you know, we want to come do the show during uh, Chicken Shit Bingo. Yeah, and that's, he's, that's he's like, what, next month? That's no, they do it like every other Sunday. Sunday or Saturday? Sunday. 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 All right. Yeah, so not yeah, this and, Sunday, but yeah, next and then, Sunday. And then the two other Sundays are trivia. Trivia, right. Oh, okay. But I thought it would be cool for us to be there during... Uh, Why don't we do that? Yeah, yeah, we should. Okay, I, yeah, I can't find it on Instagram. Um, there's a distillery in Pennsylvania making agave spirits. Oh, okay. It's called Ocho, Ocho something. And you mentioned something that agave is different. They, they, no, they, no. they can make that outside of Mexico. They just can't call it tequila. They just can't call it tequila, but technically it is tequila. Well, agave? No, no well, agave is what they make tequila with. Yeah. yeah. Tequila is distilled agave. Yes. But it, it can only be tequila if it comes from the tequila region of Mexico. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why if you. Yeah, I seen this post today. The distil- I forget what the distillery is, but it's local around like Easton, Bethlehem, Allentown area. I'm going to be there tomorrow. And they called it, it, it was Ocho's something, but they called it Agave Spirit. Right. They can't call it tequila. Yes. yes. Um, there's no reason you can't make it here. Yeah. I, you know, most of the tequilas that you see now are all American companies. Yeah. <clears throat> but they have their products made for them in <clears throat> in Mexico. Yes. You, you can make, you can distill agave in the U.S. Okay. And but it's kind of going back to that same thing where we were talking about uh, where Embev can't sell craft beer that they make because people don't want because to drink of the it. stigma. Yes. So if you put a bottle up there and it says distilled agave, but it doesn't say tequila. Yeah. Um, you know they're, it's it's a tough sell. Yeah. Right. Um, but there's no reason that they can't make a really high quality. You yeah, know, I, quote unquote tequila. Yeah, I, I don't know. I caught a post on Instagram, so maybe we're in, you're in that area tomorrow. Look them up. Mm, yeah, it's I got Ocho a, something. And uh, the and, wife and is from, a big fan of uh, yeah. the wife's a big fan of distilled agave. So, yeah. so we'll uh, we'll check that out. Yeah. I'll look them up. Yeah. So I, I but I seen that I was like, hmm. I was like, I know, you know, Chuck was, you know, you discussed the, yeah. the, the tequila thing, and I was like, and that was. That's like really the first thing I've ever seen pertaining to that that's been distilled right. around here. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't happen that's, often. You know, I mean, granted, it's a, it's still an hour or so away from us, 
but I consider that local. Yeah, no, I. Uh, you know, to uh, me, Bethlehem, that yeah, whole area, uh, the, yeah. the Lehigh Valley's local to me. Yeah, yeah, I mean that that that's in our area. Yeah, it's yeah. Not you know, for me. I mean, so but I seen that I was like, okay. I gamble there quite yeah. a bit, so. I mean, you know, if I, I'll I'll try to find it later. I'll. I work I work in Phillipsburg shoot you info. a lot. So. Yeah. I work in Phillipsburg a lot, so. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, it's Section Eight housing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but there's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, yeah that, there that, is. Yes. That, that no one lives in the Section Eight like until I'm done. So right, yeah. But still, you gotta. I used to work on Main Street in Phillipsburg. That whole, like, my dad, my dad who owns the company, he was like almost ready just to hire somebody just to set in the van. Because every get, day was someone was breaking. This into is the why bar. we got to get Pat on the show. He's very familiar with yeah, Phillipsburg. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, that's why all the good places. Yeah, yeah I mean. Me and Tom are going to hit up a couple of good places there, but we're exactly we're, Joe's, too bad. Too bad, box, too bad the box car ain't up. But you know it was. Tell, <laughs> we I won't name any names, but we, I'll tell a story, short story. We, we, got, we can get a lot of nakedness and beer there, man. We can bring any kind of beer we want. That's the hot, best. Hot dog Shannon. Yeah, we got hot dog Shannon in there. That fucking <laughs> box car is fucking great, man. You know, I remember I got thrown out of there. Right. Who did there, get thrown out? Everyone has a story about right. getting thrown through the I'm door. I'm in there. I got my fucking five was this, gallon. Was, was this when you were trying to bang the ugly girl? No. You haven't told that story on the show either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, yeah. I try to forget about that fucking episode. <laughs> you know, my, my friends don't, but I try to forget about that. <laughs> but anyway, the boxcar, I'm there in my fucking five gallon fucking bucket, fucking, you know, my 12 pack yeah, fucking in it, because yeah. that's what they gave you. You came in with 12 pack, gave you a five gallon bucket of ice, you shoved your 12 pack in there. there. Nice. Yeah. Right? So Very I'm sitting there and I'm banging these fucking things down and like this broad's dancing on the fucking stage naked and she fucking comes up to me and fucking she's like, hey, how you doing? Next thing you know, she squats down. Well, you don't do that in front of old Tom while he's drinking because <laughs> you know where his face is going. <laughs> <laughs> and um, after my face went there, this big giant black guy that was like fucking nine feet tall and weighed like 500 pounds picked me the fuck up in the air over his head and slammed me through these fucking double fucking metal doors and I ended up in the parking lot. <laughs> what the, happened? The boxcar was a fucking magical fucking place, man. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened to the beers? I know. Um, my friends grabbed them. <laughs> okay. And right. yeah, I, they drank them while I laid out in the parking lot bleeding. <laughs> you know, you know, how me and you were trying to think the same thing. Yeah. What happened yeah. to the beers? And yeah, he's bleeding. No, my, my friends drank what was left. I laid out in the parking lot Dicks. bleeding against the fucking car for, you know, an hour and a half till they came out and they decided nice. we're going to leave. Uh, but I was like, hey, we're ready to go now, yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> my, my face wasn't made to be a battering ram through two fucking no. metal exit doors. <laughs> so, uh, there's no, a lot. I, of... I, was, I was pretty fucked up after that incident. They, so when we, <laughs> we years ago we get the job there on Main Street, right, right up from Boxcars. Yeah, okay. Right? You got the free bridge right there because yeah. they're right on the corner with the free bridge, and we're we're in the big buildings up to the left. Yeah. And uh, my dad goes, Boxcars is there, and I'm like. Yeah, and we get there, and it's not boxcars anymore. It's a fucking nice restaurant. Yeah, it he is. Goes, what yeah, the a, fuck? Yeah. yeah, but at least Jimmy's dogs is slap front. Yeah, it's still, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, boxcars. The boxcars a nice restaurant. We we, we had we had a we had a uh, good joke about it. I was like. I was like, yeah, but they have a raw bar. They're selling clams. Not the bearded kind, but they're selling clams. <laughs> yeah. I remember these fucking... I got a bunch of buddies living in Mount Arlington. We call them fucking townies. Right? <laughs> they go out to the boxcar. Now, oh, you're taking these fucking, like... Mount hey, Arlington, that's a you, far... You, you're, you're taking these fucking, like, yahoos that just hang out in the woods. Now you're fucking... Now they're driving out to fucking Phillipsburg to yeah. a fucking strip club. Yeah. Right? They get fucking all banged up. They fucking... They walk out. They get in their fucking truck. And somehow they go down a fucking, uh, like a boat ramp <laughs> <laughs> to the edge of, to the edge, edge of the of Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. And they're driving down the edge of the Delaware. And they're like, where the fuck is this road to get us back up there? <laughs> and they drove like a mile down the edge of fucking <laughs> Delaware in, in fucking in, in Cause, Eastern Phillipsburg. Because where they park, Chuck, just taking pictures, where they park... <laughs> Is you got the building for boxcars is this way, and then you got the parking lot that's like yeah. right there, because you can't park anywhere, or you can no. park across the street. And you're right at the bridge on the river. You're right on the bridge. So they came out of there, and now you got you got the rail you got the rail yard, 
that runs through because you got the the lumber company. Okay. That's right down there. So they run. So they were on the edge of that. Like it was kind of like a service yes. road. Yes, they went down. It was a boat ramp. It was a boat ramp, but a boat ramp service road. So they're riding on the <laughs> on I the can, edge of the river. They're riding down freaking through fucking Phil's, Delaware. Fucking, oh, yeah, fucking through Philsburg. Fucking and they're like, we're a walk. And they're only gonna, <laughs> they're only gonna get so far yeah. where they can't go. Well, anymore. that's what they did. They got so far they couldn't go, and yeah. then they fucking had to fucking turn around somehow and fucking figure their way out and get know. back to Mount Arlington. That's fucking. It was funny. like fucking the townie version of fucking and, and like because uh, then, like then the then, warriors because the, yeah because then they're they're behind the lumber yard. Yeah, the lumber yard's all fenced in, so you're not <laughs> yeah. driving through a fucking yeah. fence in the lumber yeah. yard. So this is this is the townie version of the fucking <laughs> so, warriors. Now listen, I got a fucking. <laughs> we're gonna get a fucking. Uh, messages from Mikey Bones and fucking uh, and Slam Drew down in Virginia. They're going to want to hear about this ugly chick story. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> All right. I'll tell the ugly chick story. Well, I don't know. It you was... can't you can't do it justice, but yeah, um, yeah, because uh, Tom was of, a little fucked up. Yeah, my, yeah, I wasn't really involved. <laughs> 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 but um, in the eighties, we're at the Boulevard Pub notorious fucking hoot and holler fucking place in fucking Opacon. Um, all my friends are upstairs watching my friend's band play. I think it was Last Night on Earth. Um, and all the, the bouncers go up and they get them. They're like, you need to come downstairs. There's a problem with your friend. <laughs> and they come downstairs and there's nobody in the room except me and this god awful fucking ugly chick. But you don't even remember what I she looks like. I have no idea what she looks like, but from the bouncers and my friends and several other people, this broad was like, I mean, Godzilla looked better in a fucking <laughs> bathing suit than this fucking broad. But I was intent on banging her. <laughs> <laughs> against the fucking jukebox. <laughs> so the bouncers kindly went up and got my friends and said, you need to get your fucking buddy out of here because he's going to do something fucking he really fucking regret. <laughs> so now, now, now they didn't throw me out and they didn't throw her out. They just told my friends, you need to get him out of here before he does something fucking really bad. And they came down here, they were like, dude, man, you're fucked up. Let's get you out of here. And I was like, why? What's going on? They're like, you don't even want to know. I woke up next day. I was like, what the fuck happened? I, I, I think I was still in the back seat of the fucking car they put me in. And I wake up, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? They're like, dude, that fucking broad was the ugliest fucking thing we've ever seen in our lives in the fucking world. Hey, hey. And I was like, what happened? They're like, well... We stopped you from banging her. I was like, well, that's good. They're like, the bouncers stopped you from banging her. The bouncers, the bouncers, <laughs> the, bouncers the bouncers at this place were offended that I was trying to bang this fucking broad because they, they knew me. And they were like, no, the, the, fucking Grover, you ain't doing this shit. Man. We ain't letting you, man. Gro 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 <laughs> Gro they, they, bouncers did you a fucking solid, man. Yes. That's, that's so, unheard of. So after all of this shit, I go back there fucking the next Thursday night. Because we always you went there You know your Thursday friends night. were really just running down the stairs to fucking look. Exactly. Yeah, to look yeah. to see what yeah, fucking exactly. mess you got yourself They into. wanted to actually watch me and bang if, this fucking if, skeezer if, on the fucking jukebox. If there would have been fucking iPhones back then, yes. you'd be fucked oh, Exactly. He'd be, he'd be on YouTube Exactly. Or you you would be fucked. Exactly. Right, right I, too. I, I know my friends like a fucking back of my hand, and they all wanted me to bang her <laughs> Just so they can watch and fucking laugh. <laughs> but the bouncers were like, no, man, you can't let him do this. Get him out of here. This broad is horrid. Nobody should be fucking her. <laughs> so I, you know, so I go back there next week and the bouncers are like, we're watching you. I'm like, why? They're like, because that broad's here. I was like, what broad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they explained it to me again I was like oh that's what those guys are fucking talking about and they pointed her out I was like oh ho, ho, thank you very much man <laughs> I, went, I went upstairs and I stayed upstairs <laughs> in the middle of that fucking crowd the rest of the night I didn't even go downstairs anywhere near this fucking Godzilla you know you know wow. you know I'm, you know, I'm a proud misogynist, but it, it's a fucking just horrible. It, it's a goddamn thing I didn't do what I had to do. Oh. <laughs> so, but 
you, you know, were that fucked up that I day. was fucked up. I don't even... I couldn't even see. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> you have fucking beer goggles. Or fucking what, you, like what, fucking... you, what you were seeing was something totally different. Yeah, exactly. I don't know whether Tom. I was fucking making out with Cindy Crawford at the fucking time or not. <laughs> yeah. <but laughs> <Tom>. apparently, <laughs> apparently it wasn't her. Tom went... <laughs> Tom went, Tom went past beer goggles, whiskey glasses, and everything, man. I went past that. Fucking, he dude, I shit. crossed the fucking rainbow bridge <laughs> it was, at that fucking point. Yeah. It wasn't he Cindy was, Crawford. It was no. Danny DeVito. <laughs> it was. Exactly. <laughs> I'd rather bang Dan, Danny DeVito than what that fucking broad looked like. Oh. <laughs> but she was fucking horrible. Danny DeVito so, shaking his head. No. You know, oh, no. I don't know. I can't remember any of those fucking bouncers' names, but thank you. Preacher might have been one of but them. But she seemed know. like a nice lady she seemed like a nice lady at the time and she was more than willing to blow me and do anything i wanted but you know you were rescued <laughs> i was rescued and thank god i fucking was <laughs> holy hey, shit hey uh life lessons life lessons folks when you drink too fucking much don't fucking bang the first chick that you see <laughs> yeah no no or no. or the last one or, or the, the last one, one. Or, any or any of them, of them. Just, just drink and, just drink and go to fuck home okay. yeah <laughs> Pick broads up when you're Stay sober. Stay away from those jukeboxes, too. <laughs> don't, don't pick fights. Yeah. Don't try to get laid. Yeah, no. Just go home. But it was fucking horrible. So. <laughs> All right. But, you know, hey, you live, you learn. Well, thank, thank God I had people watching for me, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to end on that note. Uh, okay, let's end. Anebra Nation. Anebra Nation uh, stickers for sale. Anebra Nation at yahoo.com. Two for seven bucks. Get some mail to your house. Um, we got some brewery trips coming up. Yeah, we got a yeah. Jersey girl. We're coming. Yeah, we got Jersey girl. We got Zig. We got uh, Man, next sir. next Sourland week, Distillery. Ne- next week we have Sourland Distillery. Um, we got a lot of sh- a lot of cool shit coming up. So yeah, you know, stay tuned. You know, who's ever in Algeria, send us fucking hash. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. well, actually, send me hash. The yeah, rest who of them the fuck's up. listening to us in Algeria, <laughs> yeah. by the yeah. way? Send me hash. Algiers. Don't send the rest of them hash. <laughs> what are they possibly learning sh- about beer? The show us? has fucking made it to Africa, folks. Exactly. Man, Man, that's yeah. we're being downloaded in Algeria. Nice. And that's Russia. Fucking cool. Send Russia, us beer. Send Finland. us beer. Yes. Yeah. Um, if we're being listened to in Russia, anybody knows who Conix fucking brewery is? Fucking send us some of their beers, man. Those guys are doing some cool shit on Instagram. We want some of their shit. Yeah. So uh, send us some from Russia. <laughs> yeah. If it can make its way here, if we'll it can drink make it. its way here, we're fucking putting you on, man. Yeah. So the uh, yeah, Ch- the owner of Jersey Girl said, "Oh, what are your listeners like?" I go, "Well, we got fucking listeners in Algiers and fucking." <laughs> He's like, he gave me that look, like, really? I'm like, oh fuck, Russia. I, I don't, I don't know what they're fucking learning from us, but you know, like. He's just that's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny, man. Exactly. Yeah. But when they hear Algeria, you're just Algeria. Like, Algeria. I was like, I was like, cool. I'm to like, our okay. listeners in Algeria, <laughs> yes, we love you. We love you. Cheers. Knock back a cold one. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Yeah, knock back a cold one. Even though it's probably about 120 every day where you are. Yeah. But yeah. knock back a fucking couple cold ones for us and send us some beer. Send us hash. Yeah, we'll take some whatever. African, we'll take, take some... a fucking carpet. Yeah. Fucking whatever. Some kind of fucking fermented, <laughs> yeah, fermented goat milk, yeah, whatever yeah, it is. Whatever, man, send us something. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, later. All right, man, later. Out. <laughs>
the singer. 